what I'm saying? So for right now, so that I got, so they brought me my two new uh, diesel filters right there. That's one of the cabin filters. That's the other cabin filter. This is the smaller uh, air filter there. And then here is the bigger one. So it actually, the little one actually fits inside this one right here. And then I actually put that cup right there back on there. So, you know, I mean, it is what it is, y'all. You know, sometimes we got to do what we got to do. So, y'all just hold on. I'll be right back. Yeah, so see, on some of these filters here, man, we got to take these sensors off, off the old ones, and actually put them back at the bottom of the new ones here this way, which I'll show y'all just a second. See, that's basically how we just replace these right here. I mean, sometimes it is a pain, but it is what it is. You know, this little this little sensor here let us know when there's water in the diesel that's not supposed to be off in there. See, so taking them off is the easy part. Putting them back on with this little clip right here, it's a hard part, man, because you got to turn it with all your might and strength. Now they go both filters back on there. Now the really tough part sometimes is getting the oil filter off with the hydraulic hose right there in the way. Then we have to reach all the way down there to open up the uh, open up the valve to let the oil drain. And y'all see how much dust is built up off in there? Look right there in the cracks. All that dust there. And look at the filter. It is dust is on the what? Let's see what we got here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, man. That is dirty right there. Golly. Look at that. All that dirt, y'all, just came out this filter right here. Look at that, man. Full of dirt. That's what we got to deal with sometimes. Yeah, so these two right here are our air filters here, which this one here just basically just fits inside of this one here. I like you don't want to go in. But basically all it does fits in it like that. And then it gets pushed on to, uh, if I could get it up off in there with one hand, sometimes they don't want to go correctly there and then basically it sits up off in there just like that then i put the cap on and that's all she wrote on that one so now we to the part of changing the oil which i already got the old one off there's the new one there and then on this side right here let go the oil right there draining there from my little hose right there so it's a little old valve that we open up on this side right here and it just releases all the oil that's in the pan from one side to another. And then boom, you're done. So now that we finished with the oil and stuff, man, now I can move on the inside. So my little old cabin filters, they just right up under this little old bitty thing here, which I just pick up. And boom, they'll go to the filters right up off in there, there. Two of them there. So most of the time, this does stay a little bit clean, but it does get dusty over a period of time. You know, leaving the doors open and stuff like that. But, you know, it is what it is. So those are the dirty ones right there. The two little the two little square ones right there. You see a little patch of dust came out of both of them as soon as I threw it on the ground. Man, it stays dusty off in there sometimes. So there you go. New filters back in. That's all she wrote. I'm basically done with my loader. Now it's just time for me to give her a bath. I will get back with y'all, man. Peace.